What's up, everybody? Kyle here at Let's Talk Wax, and we are about a week out of the 2024 Bowman Chrome release, and I am here with a video to show you the highest selling autos out of that release. Now, a few points I want to mention before we get into this video. These prices were gathered about two or three days ago, and I'm sure they've already dropped significantly since posting this video. Uh, another thing I want to mention for sure is this is not my top prospects out of this release. This is just the highest selling right now based on recent comps. I did do a top 25 video of my favorite prospects out of this release. You can catch it over on my channel if you want to check that out. But I definitely want to emphasize that this is not my rankings as far as players I like. This is solely based on recent comps and they may be a little dated because this stuff tends to drop on very quickly or drop off very quickly after release. So we're going to jump into this thing, but I want to go into our jugger not rankings and our let's talk wax ranks real quick because i use this for all of my content so it's good to familiarize yourself with these things before we get into the video real quick i've got the juggernaut ranking system which is rankings for all 2024 milb players based on specific weighted stats that i chose it's weighted on base percentage stolen bases per plate appearance k percentage swing strike percentage wrc plus and age level you can find current rankings for all 2024 prospects over on my patreon page and they'll also be assigned a jug rank in this video and our final ranking system is the Let's Talk Wax ranking system. This is a ceiling-based rank system that I use based on my own personal opinion. And as always on the channel, I try to give you guys a lot of data to look over and make your own decisions. I can't emphasize that enough. Don't go out there and buy cards based solely on the opinion of one person. Be sure to jump into some deep dives and really go after the guys that you believe in and you think personally that will have some success. You're probably going to be wrong most of the time, like me, but uh, it's always good to do your own research and make your own picks as far as who you want to collect. Now, as I mentioned before, I've already done a top 25 video of my favorite prospects, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time evaluating guys here. I'm just kind of creating this video to give you guys a price point on the highest selling prospects out of 2024 Bowman Chrome. We're going to start with a Shedri Vargas, Texas Rangers 19.4 low A. He does hit for some average, a 194 ISO. So there's definitely a, a speed power ceiling there with 12 home runs and 20 stolen bases, the highest amount of stolen bases on this list. I was actually very surprised with how cheap a Shedri Vargas cards were coming in. I'm going to, um, I forgot to mention this. These are base auto comps. Uh, base raw auto comps of course no cards have been put on the market that are graded yet this release is so new but i was really surprised to see him in the 45 to 50 dollar range i definitely thought that he would be a top five seller but he is in the 45 dollar range and he's a let's talk wax rank of two so a big surprise there with the shedri vargas pablo guerrero texas rangers the texas rangers were a huge team if you're a breaker i'm sure they're one of the most expensive teams in breaks on this release it doesn't have a very high defensive ceiling but does have some pop for an 18.2 year who played between two levels this year. He does tend to strike out a little bit more than I like for a young player in the lower minors, but like I said, he does have some thump. He's a juggernaut rank of number 249, a Let's Talk Wax rank of 3.5. At number nine, we've got Iverson Allen, and when I did this video, his cards were comping around $50, but I've seen some significant drop-off in just the last few days. I'm not sure if people were trying to grab his autos because they thought his name was exceptionally cool, but uh, there are definitely there's definitely been a significant drop-off of Iverson Allen autos. And you can see the stats just don't really tell a very good tale for him right now. He didn't qualify for the Juggernaut Ranking System. He only had 67 plate appearances in the DSL, and they were not worth much while. He's a Let's Talk Wax rank of four right now. At number eight, we've got Fernando Cruz, another $50 auto Chicago Cubs shortstop. Hit 215 in the DSL this year, the lowest batting average on this list. He's got a 114 ISO, just really poor numbers in the DSL. And that's usually a red flag for future uh, success with people. If, if players can't perform in the, the Dominican Summer League, there's a very low chance that they're going to perform uh, in low A, even in the Complex League. I've seen a lot of prospects dominate the Dominican Summer League and struggle to come uh, when they come stateside in the Complex and low A. And I've rarely seen prospects uh, do really poorly in the DSL and do better 
uh, when they do come stateside. So huge risk here for the price. But you know, if you look here, I did put international ranking instead of the MLB.com because Leo DeVry is the only uh, top 100 ranked prospect. So I'm gonna, I wanted to put the international rankings in here so you guys could kind of see what the hype train did. He's the number four ranked international prospect and I believe that's why his cards are so expensive. It's definitely not based on performance as you can see, but it was a small sample size of only 92 plate appearances. He's a Let's Talk Wax rank of 3.5 right now. Eduardo Tait, another one of my favorite guys in this release. He's selling for around $50. I figured he might be a little more expensive, but $50 seems like a pretty reasonable comp right now for uh, Tai. He's a catcher, very young, 17.9, played in low A this year, hit 299 with a 193 ISO, 10 homers, 5 stolen bases. Really good career numbers on the juggernaut ranking system. He's a top 100 ranky at number 69. He's a Let's Talk Wax rank of two. So I would definitely feel better about buying some Tai autos over Iverson Allen and over. Uh, Fernando Cruz for sure, just based on those prices. If I had to pick two or three guys on this slide who I think are worth the, or who I think are, have a good chance to pan out, it would probably be Lorenzo, it would be Vargas, and it would definitely be Tait. Fernando Cruz and Iverson Allen, um, I'm not really too sure of right now. I don't see a whole lot of hope for those two. And Pablo Guerrero is kind of a fringy guy for me right now. But that's going to bring us to Lorenzo had 11 home runs, hit a bunch of home runs last year. I think he had like 20 plus home runs last year in 2024. So there is a big power ceiling for him there. He was traded to the Detroit Tigers. He's a juggernaut rank of 242 and a Let's Talk Wax rank of 2. Now, if you guys enjoy this content, be sure to check out my Patreon page. It does help support the channel. I'll put a link to it in the video description over there. You can find a first and first Chrome autograph checklist breakdowns for all releases since 2019, including my breakdown, the complete breakdown of every prospect on the 2024 Bowman checklist. I do a little write-up. I assign a rank, and I have career stats over there. I do team break guides, which list each player with a first Chrome, a first Chrome auto, and a rookie card auto by team to help you guys stay organized and chase the guys you want in your breaks. The Juggernaut Prospect Ranking as I mentioned before, over on my Patreon page as well. I tend to update my top 100 lists over on Patreon about two times a year. I've got a top 100 under 50 and a top 100 Bowman Chrome autos list as well. And we also have a private Discord server run by my man Bobby, who does a great job over there keeping you up to date on all things minor league baseball. If you guys want to help support the channel, be sure to check out my Patreon page. I'll put a link to it in the video description. That's going to bring us to our top six highest selling, starting with Jeremy Rodriguez. Another one of the guys that I really like out of this release hit 282 this year with a 118 ISO, 18.1 playing in the complex league. So he's pretty, pretty young, spent the majority of the season as a 17 year old. He's got a 17.1 K percentage, the lowest on this list, which is exciting. He does have a little bit of speed with 17 stolen bases. I think the uh, ceiling is going to be determined here by how much power he gets to throughout his career in the minor leagues. He's at 213 on the juggernaut in the Let's Talk Wax rank of two. A big surprise for me was Shang and Lin. He's got a high K percentage, the highest K percentage on this list at 31.6. He's got one of the lowest career ISOs on this list at 1.0 or 0 0.105 and the highest career K percentage on this list as well. So I'm not sure if this was hype driven because it definitely was not performance driven. He does hit for average, but the underlying numbers are not looking so good. He does strike out a lot and he doesn't hit for any power at 19 years old in the complex big. If he put these numbers up in low A, I'd be a little more optimistic, but I just don't see the $70 auto right now for Lynn. He's number 326 on the juggernaut and a 3.5. Let's talk wax rank for me. Braylon Morrell, another one of my favorites on this list, hit 307 this past year in the complex league at 18.5 with a 268 ISO, seven home runs, 12 stolen bases. You can see the career numbers are really good. You got the highest career batting average and the highest career ISO on this list. So another one of my favorites here, he's almost a top 100 prospect on my juggernaut ranking system at 116, and he's another 2.5 ranky. He is a bit more expensive than I thought he would be, but I can understand why he's $75 right now, but those, those numbers will definitely taper off if you're buying, if you're looking to buy singles out of this release, I would definitely continue to ride this thing out. The prices have not settled yet. There's still, I think, some room for them to drop quite a bit over the next few months. And definitely once draft comes out, these prices are going to go way down because these guys aren't playing anymore. The uh, Almost 90% of the prospects on this checklist are not playing baseball again until the spring starts back up in 2025. So the only place their cards are really going to go is down. They're not going to do anything exceptional to have card values rise. There are a lot of them are too young to play in the Arizona 
Arizona Fall League. So I would definitely ride this thing out. Maybe even until draft comes out and everybody's focused on that release, you could definitely try to pick up some cheap singles. So a tip that I've learned over the last few years of prospecting there, Jose Perdomo is coming in at $125. He's the number three ranked international prospect and kind of like... Uh, we talked about with the other high-ranking international prospects on MLB.com. People are going to go to MLB.com. They're going to type in. They're going to click on the little international prospects. They're going to click on 2024. And this is the extent of the research that they're going to do. If, if uh, Sam Dykstra says that they're number three in the in the in the uh, international class, they're going to be an expensive auto because it's a mainstream website, and the people really a lot a lot of collectors don't really do the research necessary to make. Uh, better decisions, I guess you would say. And I'm not trying to knock MLB by any means whatsoever. I know they put a ton of work into their research over there and they're just going off of numbers and um, and they're going off of scouting and things like that. But uh, Perdomo had a super small sample size. So we really don't know what to expect with this kid, but to pay $125 for a big question mark right now, uh, that's a bit of a risk for me. Didn't qualify for the juggernaut. He's a let's talk wax rank of three right now. We're really going to have to wait until 2025 to get a better read of what he is capable of doing. But for $125 right now, that's a huge no for me. Emil Morales, probably one of the biggest producers on this checklist. I can completely understand why he is at number two. I still would not pay... I would not pay any of these prices right now for autos. Uh, like I said before, I would definitely just hold the water and wait. Do not have fear of missing out. These prices are going nowhere but down. And they've already, like I said, if you go look at comps right now, I'm sure they're going to be $10 under what you see right here in the video. I'm going to get a bunch of comments in the comment section about, well, your comps are way off. Well, they're, they're depreciating that quickly, so it's very hard to stay current on a fresh release. But he's got the highest batting average on the list, the highest ISO, the best walk percentage, the most home runs. So a big, big bat here with Emil Morales. But... What you have to consider, I mentioned this in my top 25 video, is that he has no stats outside of the Dominican Summer League. I've seen players dominate the Dominican Summer League and struggle when they come stateside. So it's a very, uh, it occurs more often than you would think, but um, we're going to definitely need to look at what he does in 2025 when he comes stateside before I'm willing to spend any money on someone with DSL stats only. Internationally, he was number 14 in the class. He's a Let's Talk Wax rank of 2.5. Of course, Leo DeVries was the headliner for this release. He was an outlier price-wise. Everybody knew he was the one big chase. There was Leo DeVries and there was everyone else. He did not have a very good season average-wise, but his weighted on base average was pretty high. He did have a lot of extra base hits had a 204 iso some good uh, walk percentage there at 3.13.8 uh, and a solid k percentage at 23.3 he's 17.9 playing in low a he didn't even go to the dominican summer league so that's something also to consider he's the number one international prospect in this class the juggernaut ranking he is number 58 and he's a let's talk wax rank of 1.5 so you can clearly see why he kind of headlines this release but um, like I said, please, please, please hold your water. Do not get fear of missing out. These prices have nowhere to go in the next several months unless the San Diego Padres are planning on sending Leo DeVry to the Arizona Fall League and he absolutely rakes, which is most likely not going to happen. One last plug for the Patreon page. It's in the video description if you want to help support the channel. Lots of exclusive content over there to get you guys started in your prospecting journey. A huge shout out to all my Patreon level 3 subscribers. You guys rock. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and there should be a link to a box to my top 25 video in the top right corner if you guys want to get my ranking and my personal opinion on the top prospects in this release. Be sure to watch that video as well. Y'all have a great day.